Welcome. This is not safe zone. Our intel has reported that one of you are considered to be a traitor. We will give you one last chance to get out and never come back. Excellent choice. You may proceed to session. Enjoy your stay. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to new episode. As you can see, we had minor inconvenience in garage. We will continue as soon as we clean up the mess. In this video, I will talk about Airsoft SIG MCX rifle and best AEG upgrade you can get. It's worth to mention that this is not sponsored video by any means. It means you can trust me. Everything I say is true. <laughs> After 5 years of playing Airsoft, SIG MCX from Vega Force Company is still my favorite Airsoft rifle, however, I would not recommend it for beginners. This is a special weapon that is hard to get and it deserves special care. To be honest, I'm not a fan of M4, but this MCX was too damn sexy and lonely just to stand in store without shooting my friends. The US Army will adapt SIG MCX Spear as new service rifle and it is part of the next generation squad weapon program that aims to replace the M4 carbine and M249 LMG light machine gun. Next generation also includes hybrid bullets, but today we are covering airsoft replica. I was more than happy with my stock rifle. Unfortunately, our huge battlefields were demanding more from rifles. Our fields demand more range, better accuracy, higher velocity, high torque motor and overall completely new gearbox. This is all the radio with special effects. Demanding more from rifle stats, I decided to invest in this complete gearbox from Gate Enterprise with installed Titan 2 version 2 gearbox. Most important upgrade will be inner barrel. Right now I'm using PDI 6.03 barrel and I'm on maximum power limit of 1.55 joules and this is the maximum for assault rifle. This is a good PDI barrel, but it's unnecessarily too expensive. My honest recommendation is to use Leopard inner barrels because they are 50% cheaper than PDI. You will get the same results. Don't throw away your money on expensive barrels. Some guys will convince you that the most expensive barrels money, are the best money. because uh, it's polished 100 million times more and the air will flow more smoothly. Oh god, please strike them down. Another thing I have to warn you and rant about is air hop. Please, don't be airhop victim sucker. Airhop is overpriced, outdated, fabricated bullshit from airsoft tech that want your money. <laughs> I want to tell you that airhop sucks. Those money-grabbing airsoft wannabe repair a-holes will not agree with me for a reason, of course. I'm using Maple Leaf Silicone Super Macaron 70 degree with Omega Tensioner. 
and I can lift 0.32 BBs and 0.43 without any problems. However, maple leaf buckings right now are not good for gas blowback, only for AEG. But that's for another story. I don't have time to go through details of assault loadout, but I presume you will ask about silencer. I'm using Navridge Modular Suppressor V2 with, <laughs> with CNC custom-made suppressor. And yes, it does suppress the sound. At this moment, I think that next features are absolutely futuristic. Here is the Titan II with Eon Complete Gearbox. Speaking of futuristic innovations, you can connect your rifle with your phone and smartwatch via Bluetooth and receive instant feedback and monitoring of every detail what's going on inside your weapon. I am amazed. You can check your battery status, temperatures, trigger sensitivity, you can even program your trigger to shoot on release. If something goes wrong, Gate Control Station app will report and advise you how to fix it. This can save you a lot of time because you have info from inside. Another new feature is that you can have your ammo counter and realistic ammo limit for your milsim events. I really like this feature. And here is the example. So, do you need all of those features? Well. Yes, and no, you need this because you love airsoft and you want to feed your airsoft addiction. And no, you don't need it because you can have fun with your 70 euro used rifle and shoot other players and have fun. That's also true. So yes, this is expensive. But then, in the other hand, when you see your friends, you want to wipe them out from the field. In that case, you will spend a lot of money just to get the headshot satisfaction and wipe the enemy squad with style. Installation. Installation is not a piece of cake. And that's normal in airsoft world. Companies are struggling to keep everything universal and, in the same time, they want to keep their unique design and licenses to themselves. Sometimes that's good and usually that's bad for us. And here we are in the semi-universal world of Airsoft. Let's go to the installation problems. The fire selector switch on right side is unfortunately temporarily not functional because the gears are too large and they do not fit into the shell. The white selector plate that comes with the gearbox does not fit, but the original metal plate from VFC does. Third problem, the bolt catch does not fit with new gearbox. Um, that's because design of the gearbox does not have the right angle in that place where the lever is supposed to be. This does not pose any problem for me because the bolt catch does not have any important role. And if I still want a bolt catch, there are simple solutions to attach the bolt to the rail. Fourth problem was mag release button. The only way to install mag release button was to file it and polish it from inside to fit the shape of the new gearbox. Please also remember that you don't have to do any work on your gearbox. 5. Hop up chamber. I took the Eon chamber because I didn't want to take a risk with other companies. Gate Enterprise. They guarantee that it will fit perfectly with the Eon gearbox. And that's true, it fits perfectly and this is amazing unit. But it does not fit perfectly in my SIG hop-up base guide. So I had to file, saw and polish that base guide. And it took me a good one hour or more to get the desired shape. 6. The engine from Warhead Ronin 31K gave me frustrations only because you have to mount the pinion gear. Of course, it did not go smoothly, it got stuck and if you want to push it out too hard, you can break the electric parts and the warranty will not cover it. Of course, I don't like it. When it finally sat down, it sat down like Swiss watch. From that day on, I love how it works. Problem number 7. My MCX had to end up under the lathe machine again to make the compatible spring guide. 
you can also remove your gas block on outer barrel and free up additional space for battery and reduce weight. To keep this video under 10 minutes, I think that this sums up all issues I have encountered. It's worth to mention that uh, customer support both from Gate Enterprise and Warhead Industries is perfect. They helped me with my issues. I respect that. Thank you.